one of your themes of your questions to me is that I'm inconsistent. Let me, yes. let me pose something for your consideration that okay. you're inconsistent. Your worldview is inconsistent. Okay. Because you believe the God you worship and serve is loving. Yes. You also His definition of love. And you also not believe that God does not wish anyone to perish. Any of who? Anybody, any human. No, 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 no. God's very willing that plenty of people will perish. Okay, so you believe that God creates people for damnation on yes. purpose. Romans nine, absolutely. Okay. Hard to miss. Vessels of wrath fit for destruction, so He can display the glory. Is that kind? Depends on your definition of kind and depends on your view of God. If you understand God to be who he says he is, and the problem with most of us is we think of him way too small. God revealing his glory in any way, shape, form, or, fa or fashion is the most positive thing that could happen. Okay. So the, he chooses to display his glory. Okay, this is the inconsistency. This is inconsistency. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to do it in the form of um, a story. You, you and I are walking down the street and we okay. see someone take a knife and stab another person on the street. Okay. You and I look at each other. I say, that's bad. I mean, we need to call the cops or, okay. or intervene. Like maybe it's, okay. they're going to kill. What do you say? Do you say that's bad or good? Well, I was a paramedic for five years. So I say, let's start plugging holes and getting fluid. Right. Yeah. But you say that stabbing's bad, right? Yeah. This, this is not a good thing. No. Okay. This is where you're inconsistent. Okay. What if God decreed it, like caused it? Okay. Would you still say it's bad? Walk into the trap. Let me answer that with a story. <laughs> Come on. Answer I'm the not question. Into this trap because we're reducing God too small to make that question. Make no, sense. no, 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 Joe. I'm. I'm not going to let you off the hook easily here. This is why oh, you're... I'm not, I'm not leaving the hook. I'm going to stay here. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Is the stabbing good or bad? Moral and or I'm immoral? We have to ask that question on two different levels and we're reducing it to one level. And I have to know which level we're asking. You know, she didn't say that when, when I asked you initially, you said, we got to start plugging holes. You didn't say, well, I'm not going to plug holes or stop the more stabbing until you're asking philosophically, whether it's good or bad. I'm asking in your worldview, is it moral, immoral, good or bad for a person to stab another person? Okay, it's immoral. It is wrong. Thou shalt not kill. Okay, and what if some, if God himself told that person to do the stabbing? Is it immoral or moral? Immoral well, he clearly or moral? Didn't, he didn't tell them to do that. I said, what if he did? But he didn't. That's not a possible hypothetical. It's not possible for God to tell a human being to stab another human being. Uh, not if you and me are walking down the street or our time in history. No. Oh, in a different time in history, it is possible. God has told people to kill people before. Yes. So what you're saying is your morality is subjective and contextual. No, my subject, my, my, it depends on the time in history. You said only subjective based on the person that's, who's doing it. So this right, is that's a, what subjective means. So, so if I, if I burn your barn down, they're going to charge me with arson. If I burn my barn down. I'm just dealing, managing my property. There's a big difference between how God deals with people and how we deal with people. You just a said, person, you just said a stabbing, whether it's right or wrong, depends on when it's done in history. That's no, I said, God telling people to do it depends on where your history, not the morality. Right, the right, right. Yeah. The morality or immorality of it is, is based in whether or not God is commanding that thing to be happening okay so if god tells someone to go kill an evil nation that's god doing property management with his property if i go do it and god hasn't told me to do it that is immoral because he's giving me the ten commandments god's a little bit like trump right he loves real estate um <laughs> so this is why i find you inconsistent because on the one hand you will say you and i would agree seeing someone stab another person on the street is wrong but on the other hand, if God truly commands it, you deny the hypothetical. You say God would never do such a thing, which I want to ask you about next. But you say, and this is where you're inconsistent, well, it actually could be good if God commands it, right? You won't let me answer with the two levels. So what's I the second to... level? So here, here's, here's so the first level, it's wrong. Second level, it's 
Not it wrong. is wrong for humans to kill each other. It is not wrong for God to deal with humans as he sees fits. Those are two different levels. Right. So this is like So what determines what's right or wrong is you actually God. have to get into the mind of God. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> so the next time you see someone rape another person, mm -hmm. steal, murder, you got to ask yourself the question, maybe God wants this to happen. Nope. Why not? Because God never works inconsistently with his word. And I live in the New Testament and under a new covenant. And it's been very clear that humans are not to kill each other people. But Jesus commanded people to kill people. Mm, I'm trying to remember where exactly that happened. Put me in some context there. Help me understand. Well, Jesus that. is God, yes? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. See what you're doing. So yes, when God deals with people, that's his business because he's the potter and we're the clay. And even in the New Testament, uh, Ananias and Sapphira. Yep. Yep. But then God handled them. He didn't. In have end times, uh, what a third of the world's population is going to die. Yep. So this is well, maybe God's commanding angels to do it at that time, but who knows? It's probably people killing people. So you believe in a God who commands people to kill other people, right? So the next time you see someone kill another person, or if you ever see that, I mean, you got to ask yourself, maybe God wants this. Maybe this is a good thing. I know that God's sovereign will is for that to happen and that he will work it out for good according to those that are called according to his purposes. However, for a human in this covenant and this time in history to kill another one is going to be wrong. How do you, I mean, know, how do you know that? Okay, like if somebody's getting raped and then somebody defends the person and then kills them, well, then that's not exactly murder. I mean, it depends on the kind of way. No, but how do you know God could not command or decree or cause a human to kill another human today? Because there were, God was very clear about that in his word. He said in the old times, God did it this way. And then now in this covenant, this is how he did it. And then Jesus reaffirmed the Ten Commandments. Yeah, but it's not murder if God's commanding it. But God doesn't command people to murder each other or, or to tell, tell each other in this covenant. That was the Old Testament. Where does, it say, to... where does it say that in the Bible? That Are you saying there's no such thing as just wars today that God's behind? I, I don't really. Mm, okay, we're going to just war theory. Wow. Well, no, uh, I, I, I'm just saying like, because that, that is part of this. Are you saying God could never use the United States as a force for his divine goodness? Basically oh, think, commanding people to kill other people? You as a Christian, I don't think can go there. Yes. Okay, so God can use that sovereignly to, to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. Yeah. yeah, and if he can do this from nation to nation, surely he can do it from person to person, community to community. Oh, sure. hundred percent. Okay. So you're backing off on that. So God can command a person today to kill another person. No, I can't. I can't go. I can't go there because the Bible's clear in the old times. God spoke to the prophets and did that in that covenant. And then in these times we have his word and we, and, and we have the new covenant of grace under Jesus Christ. And he says, vengeance. Is At least mine you thought about faith. it for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I just, I think that's that's a fun question to ask, but it confuses hermeneutics in the covenants and the in the two testaments and how God has dealt with people over different times. It confuses those things and pretends they're one and they're not. But this is the inconsistency in your worldview. Basically, the whole concept of love, kindness, evil, sin, you, what you think you see as love and kindness and evil and sin might be the exact opposite, depending on whether God has sanctioned it or not. No, I don't define those things by anything other than what the word of God says. So love is this greater love has no man than this. Then he lays down his life for his friend. So the greatest example of love is Jesus dying on a cross. And you look at that in modern days, we're like, wait, there's a guy dying, getting tortured and beaten. That's bad. God's bad. No, God said this is his love for humanity being displayed. So I'm going to define it the way God defines it and go with his definitions, not just, oh, this is how I feel, or this is what I see, or this is what I think. Because remember, I'm not in the judge seat. God is in the judge when seat. When God executes his justice, isn't that a form of love as well? All God's attributes work together equally at the same time. Right. So, yes. so when God commands a human to kill another human, that is love. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, when and God commands a, a soldier to kill an infant, as he did in the Canaanites, the Midianites, the Amalekites, that is love. Mm -hmm. But you, 
if you and I saw this on the street, if we saw a soldier stick a sword through a baby, you and I would be the same. We would both say this is disgusting. We would want the biggest penalty on this person imaginable, right? Right. But you put you in a time machine 3,000 years ago, you'd say, yay, Yahweh. This is love. Depends on, I don't know if calling it love is the best thing, that it's more of a display of God's wrath against sin and inequity. Uh, and the people that God, uh, specifically, I think you're getting back to Numbers 31, I, I think specifically the people that God was dealing with then were a heathen country that were introducing false gods and idol worship and taking people away from God. And so it was a loving thing for him to do to purify the land and bring back his people to himself. And so if I see me being kept from sin and idolatry as a loving thing, that aspect of it is loving. The actual act of seeing a sword go through a pregnant woman, that's not love. That We're seeing God's justice and the evil of sin. It should did cause me to hate sin and everything justice is not evil God. no but we can admit that it doesn't look good i mean i don't care if, if you don't have if you had zero context at all and you saw someone on death row getting the electric chair if i mean that's going to be a pretty gruesome thing that's yeah not gonna be i agree wise. but if they've raped pillaged and murdered their whole life it might make a whole lot more sense and there's another way in which i might be glad to see that happening <laughs> because the reign of terror is over you know, so would you apply that were... to hell then as well? Like you said, when you watch an execution, it's not a good thing to look at. It's 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 revolting. It's revolting. Yeah. 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 So oh, I would say hell would be the same way. So you would say hell is revolting. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's going to be an awful, nasty pit, dude. It's not going to be good at but all. But hell exists because of God. Yeah. So God 